Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome back to Corpse Party. When I last left off, we managed to get to Chapter 2, where I watched Miss Yui get horribly crushed by a large cabinet filled with sharp instruments and might, in fact, be dead. So now we are with Ayumi and Yoshiki, who are gonna go out and look for her, but obviously the way is blocked, so the only other option is to go up this way. Now we can get through, because we're not teachers. Well, here we are in a horrible, horrible place. What else do we have around here? If you acquire any name tags from the corpses in this school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection. Custodian. Yes, because that'll help us get extra stuff. But, first things first, let's check in here. A crude picture, seemingly drawn by a child, adorns one of the shelves. Oh. Four smiling children are surrounding an adult and merrily stabbing him to death. I'd be a little disturbed if I had a child drawing this kind of stuff. Very. I think I'm just gonna walk away from that. Okay, bye. Oh! Somebody use the force! Yeah, ouch. Well, I tried. Okay, bye. See ya. I'm getting out of here. But if I can't go in there, then where am I supposed to go? Do I go back down this way? The board moved. By the way, is there... Yep, still there's pee in there. It's good to know. So I can't go upstairs. Let's go this way then. Yeah, what's up, Ay Ayumi? Oh no. Is it more scary stories? This would be a bad idea. What about your stupid ass candles? Well, yeah, because you keep scaring everybody. You're sadistic that way. Boy, you have quite a reputation, don't you? The rep has a rep. So how about... Uh... Oh. That's pretty clever, actually. I would also explain why we see candles all over the place. Well, as safe and sound as you can be in Heavenly Host. Pretty much. Yeah, I guess. Alright! Let me just save really quick. Because we don't know what's going to happen after this. Thanks for that music. Oh boy. So what's in this place? Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. Thanks. Who is writing all these, by the way? They're either incredibly depressing or incredibly exciting. And look at all the shoes. And what does this note say? 
Each time you turn around, stop for a moment and ask yourself, is the world behind your back still there? I guess so. Ooh, squeaky. Knock, knock. Front entrance sway might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. Darn. And that place is blocked off, and I'm sort of standing on nothing. So I guess I'm going up this way. Oh, goody, more bodies. Yeah, they haven't seen a dead body yet, have they? They haven't even met a ghost yet. Well, they certainly ain't, uh, a monkey. Oh, dear. Close your eyes, Ayumi. It'll be all over soon. Maybe. Y'all right there? Jeez. Okay, easy. Easy. Just deep breaths. She's so casual about it. That's okay. I'm just hyperventilating a little. I might pass out if I'd keep this up, but I'm fine. Okay, easy. Dude, rubber back or something. Okay, easy, easy. Hands up, it helps you stop coughing. At least that's what my grandma used to tell me. あいつがいれば。もう少し篠崎も心が休まるだろうね。いや、probably。何やってるの。早く行こうよ。Hey, Byakuden Senior High School Class 24 Kai Shimada Kizami Yes I would say so but First things first, let's, you know, get all these other ones Another junior senior high school student Another one from Byakuden Senior High School Tomohiro Okawa. And you? Another Byakuden. Masato Fukuroi. And you? Oh, this one's different. Musa Shigawa Girls Middle School. Class 1 2. Hikari Kirijo. Why? There's three from the same school. That's weird. Well, not that weird. I guess uh, multiple people were dragged in here against their will. So let me try over here. Won't open. Nope, won't open. And there's the custodian's office. Nope, it's still locked. How about you? Hastily's written note on the ground. Writers seem to have struggled with it as the lettering is inconsistent and difficult to read. Why, sister? It hurts, it hurts. After I die, the pain will continue forever. No. No, 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 no. Uh oh. I think we found the other sister. But it looks like she didn't get out either. Hi. 
Okay, bye. Don't kill me, please. We've already seen the malice of the red spirits. So I guess I'll go this way. I don't see any other choice. Ew. Decaying skeleton remains here about the size of a middle school student. They're in the process of slowly drawing and whitening, creating an almost overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing the deceased had been wearing is long gone, so there's no means of readily identifying gender on sight. And they have a note. Victim's Memoirs 1-5. I ate my friend today. Oh, you know it's gonna be good when cannibalism's involved. What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were, and there's no food here. So we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happens. Yeah, I kinda ate your kid. We left it all up to a game of paper, scissors, rock. Loser eats winner. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my thirst. And her meat was supple and satisfying. Ugh. But that blood and that meat was once my friend. Up until just a few hours before, I'd been talking with her. Ugh. As I feasted, I just kept thinking, this food used to be a person. Before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying, and I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me even after she died. So I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. And I thought maybe I should write all of this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. Not much sanity there if you ate your friend and took her eye. Ew. Just more problems after another, I guess. You all right over there? Maybe you should get out of here then. Her head is splitting. Does that sound like she's okay? We shouldn't be in this school at all, but hey, here we are. Okay. Well, why doesn't she just get out of the room and then Yoshiki go check? It would have been so much easier, but no, she had to be Miss Stubborn Pants, didn't she? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Remember the one wrong ending in Chapter 1? He's one of the bad guys. Scare him? Hello, there's a ghost child right over there. Okay. Okay, easy. 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 Rusted blood soaked nail pole are sitting on top of the desk. Take it. Yeah, alright. Thanks for the nail puller. This might be handy. Remember there was a place back there that had nails in the door? That might be our only ticket. Uh See ya, kid. Bye. It's been fun. Don't murder me, please. Don't trick me into eating scissors. And I guess we can't go through that door, and there's no passageway over there. 
So I guess I'm just gonna have to keep moving forward. Geez, every little noise, just ex I just expect something bad's gonna happen. Uh... Are you okay? You don't look so good. I mean, look at her sprite. She looks absolutely horrid. I think she's possessed, dude. Okay. She's going that way. Yeah, I guess this place is getting to her. I don't know, should I go after her? Should I go after her? Hmm. Eh, I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure nothing bad will happen if I just leave her to be for herself. Meantime, let's get that nail puller going. How about that, huh? I think it was back here, correct? Yeah, it was right over here. There we go. Although successful in loosening every nail and opening the door, the rusted old nail puller broke apart in the process. Darn. Oh well. I guess I'll make do with what I do. Well, I can. Piece of scrap paper pinned to the wall. You notice dark spots down the page and realize they're tear stains. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly, and other truths are best left untold. Beware the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them. Curses that can crush even the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs, to their conclusion. Now remember, we picked up one of five. So make sure if we get all of them, not to do number five. Because then, something bad will happen. Appears to be a control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system, rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. There's a lever jutting out from one side. Pull it. Sure. Oh hey, it's that strange ghost boy again. He's kind of blocking my way. But alright. Let's get going. Still no word about Ayumi though. That was very weird. What was that noise? Yeah, we still haven't seen her yet. I almost kind of want to check on her, but at the same time, maybe it's not a good idea. Just yet. She might be mad at us. You never know. Let's just get to this door and open up this section and try not to look in the ghost's eyes. I wish the sound wouldn't be so loud. Okay, excuse me a minute, I just need to get to this. Yep, a control mechanism, some sort of elaborate pulley system, rigged, rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. What do you mean, like piano wires? There we go. With a kathunk. Oh, there's Ayumi, I was wondering where she went. He's, you know, further up, go see him. Oh, 
Well, you wandered off. What am I supposed to do? Click, click, click. All right. Oh, they are like piano wires. Oh. Oops. I shouldn't have done that. Well, I guess we'll go check out our damage. Let's go see how badly he's going to react to this. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, sorry about that. I guess I should have checked on it. Wow, guess he's not as much of a tough guy as we thought. Now what? Oh. <laughs> he wasn't even close to her, he was, he had his back to her. But at least they're nice enough for not showing any of the guts. Now, Corpse Party Tortured Souls, the OVA of this game, however, not so friendly in terms of showing all the blood and gore. <laughs> to be honest, dude, this is probably the, the least terrible ending wrong end you can get. Because we didn't check on her. That's why. Boy, he's really taking this hard. Because she just happened to be in your path? Um, you may not want to wish that because... Yeah... Uh. That would make me wretch, please. Yeah, that would be my last thoughts, wouldn't it? But yeah, piano wires are incredibly sharp. Ugh. Oh, that's another wrong end done, isn't it? Pfft. Not very pleasant, is it? This time, let's actually try doing the right thing and actually check on Ayumi when she gets possessed. Alright, Shinazaki, what seems to be the problem? Let's talk to you so this time you don't end up getting killed by visible wires. Oi, Shinazaki, what are you doing? Boy, she's really in deep, isn't she? <laughs> Slap her in the face, maybe that'll help. What do I do in this situation? I don't know. There's a note over here. Oh, found the second victim's memoirs. 
I hold in the palm of my hand a piece of a person's body, a piece of a person who was living and breathing only a short while ago. This body part used to be attached to her head, and now I'm walking around the school with it. I had no idea eyeballs were so heavy, and I just keep squishing it in the palm of my hand as if I'm testing its firmness. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. You know, like a little stress reliever ball. Well, that's number two. All right, Ayumi. Shinozaki. Oi. Oi. Step out of it, girlfriend. And then she acts like absolutely nothing happened. What's wrong is you're absolutely loopy. Yeah, something about a birthday party. I would think not. Yeah. Well, I would say that too, but I'm sure it's not the case. That definitely looked like possession. When does anybody ever make that face? Come on. <laughs> you and Miss Yui are terrible liars. Mm -hmm. But anyway, now we can go on with our day. Oh, hi. Ah! Crates! Yep, it did. Yeah, don't let it look at you and don't let it touch you. Crates. This just gets better and better. Where did he go? Ah! Okay, hello! Hi, Ghost Boy! How are you? Good to see ya! Okay, bye. I'm just gonna go this way really quickly. Don't go anywhere. Let me just quickly save. Because I'm about to do something incredibly stupid. Gotta try and get as many wrong ends as possible. Well, obviously one of them is getting caught by the ghost or staring at him when uh, you're walking by him. Oops. Yeah, the power stone in Yoshiki's pocket suddenly and spontaneously shattered. Well, sort of. Because essentially, that little power stone is essentially a one minute get out of jail free card. If you are in the middle of, a of getting a wrong end, the power stone saves you one time before you get killed. So it's kind of like, you know, a quick save. And also, as a side note, it would not have helped Miss Yui in her predicament. It would have just been a waste. Come with me, I don't wanna, but I'm gonna! Gotta show off this wrong end. Which, by the way, if I had gone where I was staring into his face, I think there would have been a screenshot of the ghost kid, like, his face just staring at you with his mouth agape, and you actually can see he has no tongue. That's why he, when he was said, come with me, it was all slurred like that. No. You wish. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell because it's all pitch black. Which means you're pretty much left up to your own imagination from what's about to happen. Oh, 
So if we're in a hole and there's dirt and gravel coming from above, what do you think's happening? Sounds like it. Well, don't talk with your mouth full of dirt. I don't think they're gonna. This is definitely painful to listen to. Ugh. I keep flinching every time I hear the shovel thunking into the ground like that. If you can't breathe, you shouldn't be able to talk either. <laughs> that is one painful wrong end to listen to. And you don't even see what's going on. It's not pretty. But that little ghost boy, he's probably one of the worst ones you're going to deal with. You'll see later on, trust me. But uh, let's continue on to actually get the nail pulling done now and not get anybody killed. Knock, knock. Yep, use the nail puller. We broke it, but hey, we still managed to get in here. Oh, is that another note? Yep, number three out of five. I've been searching every last corner of this school building, trying to find a way of escaping with her. But it's not happening. No matter how much we struggle, only further misery awaits us. I'm so unbearably thirsty, so hungry that it feels like my stomach is eating itself. And every moment it gets worse. It's like a big black mass in front of me that's slowly closing in. I can't keep ignoring it. I started talking to the eyeball in my hand to help stay focused and maintain my sanity. Stop looking at me like that. I swear I'll find us a way out of here. I have to make sure I will tell your family what you did for me. Yeah, that's that's still rather disturbing. All right, well, at least now he's not there. I can try and get by a lot easier except I have to dodge him in the freaking hallway. That's a problem. Also, as a quick check, maybe I should go back up here really quick to see if there's anything else I need to find. You know, maybe, um, maybe another one of the victim's memoirs ended up around here. You don't know. Could at least save. Let me just check down here really quick. Nope, nothing down here. Let me check back up in the room that I can't enter. No, 
can I still not enter here? Nope. Okay. In that case, I guess I head back and try to dodge Ghost Boy. And hope he doesn't try to bury me alive again. Pass the pee bucket. And save one more time for good measure. Alright, here we go. A little ghost boy, are you around? I'm sure you are. Okay, where are you? Where are you, creepy boy? There you are. Come here. Alright, I'm gonna have to trick you into getting over here, aren't I? Come on. Come on. There you go. Whoop! Ha ha! Too slick for you, child. Alright, come on. Up, 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 and away! Go, 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 go! Faster, faster, faster! I wish I had a sprint option. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. Snick, snick. Let's do this. Hopefully nobody else is in the hallway uh, while we're doing this. Okay, cool. Let's get the hell out of here then. Oh, are you kidding me? You little stinker. How am I going to get around you? Ah! Crud. Oh, there goes my power stone. Go! go. Oh, I did it again. Crud. Be right back. Yes! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! No, don't wander about like that! Go! He's gonna follow me, isn't he? Yep! Okay. Good to know. Good to freaking know. See ya, you little brat! Okay, I'm getting out of here. I am leaving. You can just go straight to hell. I'm gonna read this really quick. Curse writing left behind by those who lost all reason must be read in the proper order. If one party skip, the next will never appear. Since I'm reading such dangerous words, too, I pray you have a strong will and a sturdy mind. Thanks. Let me just go quickly save. Pray the little ghost brat isn't over there to try and kill me. Okay, so far so good. Let's just save really quick. And I think that's a good enough place to stop for now. But what's gonna happen next? Are we gonna have a lot more problems with this stupid little ghost child? Are we gonna run into any of our other classmates? Are we gonna get to Miss Yui or is she completely gone? And what the heck's gonna happen with Naomi now? Tune in next time for more and hopefully some more answers on the next exciting episode of Corpse Party. This is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching and have a fond farewell.